Good day, my dear friends. Welcome in new presentations in the easy and different radiology. I am Dr. Osama Ibrahim. There is no doubt that we try to, all the time to do the right things with a right way and subsequently improve our service. Indeed, that is the quality definition. Actually, my presentation today will be out of clinical radiology books. I'll talk today about this issue quality from the radiology side. So let's start it. Learning objective from my presentation today is, first of all, I wanted to talk about one part from quality which is called the AOB policies. AOB policies representing to assessment of patient. AOB, assessment of patient. Assessment of patient can be got it through five policies, radiology, result, turnaround time, which is called TAT or TAT. Second one is the radiation safety program, and this is very important to point for improvement of the quality and improvement of the service. And this is one from the AOB policies. Third one is the radiation quality control program for the machine, which is called the QC and radiation equipment management. I will talk a little bit about these two points and also radiology services. So I will concentrate today about the TAT and the radiation safety program as part from the AOB policies in the radiation or in the radiology. First uh, policy is the radiology result turn around time. Radiology results turn around time, which is called TAT, meaning is or defi definitions is uh, the time from the end of imaging examinations until report completed. So from the finishing of the exam until the report is approved, this is which is called TAT. So TAT according to the policy or according to the definition is the time between the finishing of exam and the report is approved. This time is defined the times and should be certified according to the policy. So the patient is classified into stat request of cases, stat request, urgent or routine, and according to this request, we have time to finishing the report. The stat meaning the cases which uh, have uh, conditions need urgent report should be written within two hours and this is a life-threatening conditions situations urgent request if the request is urgent it should be reported within 24 hours and the routine is divided or subclassified into two components inpatient and outpatient inpatient the report at that time is should be finished within 48 hours and the outpatient within 72 hours according to the GCI and this reference. So the TAT representing the time or certifying the time which the report should be finished according to the request coming from the physician. STAT, urgent or routine, two hours, 24 hours for urgent and two hours for STAT, 48 hours inpatient routine and 72 hours outpatient routine. And now with the second policy, and this one is the most important policy in the radiology. Every radiologist and the radiology workers, uh, radiographers, uh, uh, anyone working in the radiology area should know about this radiation safety program well. Radiation safety program, I uh, make this abbreviation to remember the points which you should to take care during dealing with the patient in the radiation area or with the radiation source, AAPBP. A from Alara, A another A from Apron, pregnancy, badge, and portable. These five points, I will discuss it in details in next slides, should be aware everyone working in the radiology area should be aware about these five. All these five are sub or under the policy which is called the radiation safety program. 
So the first A is Alara, and Alara meaning as low as reasonably achievable, and this depends on the time, distance, and the shielding, which meaning anyone make taking radi radiological examinations, which is radiographers, uh, should to take care from the time, from the distance of the source, and the shielding uh, through without the ra primary radiation source. And this is which is called Aurora, as low as reasonably achievable, depending on time, distance, and shielding. So, radiographers should apply Aurora as low as reasonably achievable, principal distance, time, shielding, all the time. All the time should take this in consideration. And now, another one from radiation safety program is the second A, which is called Apron. Apron here meaning the this uh, jacket which protect the radiographers or any working in the radiology area from the primary source of radiation during taking examinations and this apron this is the second A and this apron uh, uh, are checked daily by the radiographers monthly by the RBO radiation protection officers and annually by the RBO and the radiographer because if any damage in these uh, jackets can passing radiations to uh, the body of the person who is uh, taking examination. So to save yourself, you should make check up, check out, or check these uh, uh, jackets uh, according to these rules. The radiographers in duty should ensure the availability of radiation protective devices like this apron or the shielding devices like. Uh, a thyroid shield or ovarian shield or like this also shield for the baby uh, pediatric shield uh, in the rooms daily you should ensure that these protective measurements aprons and shields in the room daily should be checked and confirmed so the apron one methods which can protect or uh, uh, sharing in the radiation safety in the radiology area Third point in the radiation safety program, according to AAPPP, is the pregnancy. Pregnancy representing by the first P here, and the pregnancy have rules during examinations in the radiation area, and the LMP last menstrual period should be checked for females patient, and the 10 day rules should be applied. 10 day rules meaning the safety area period, which can take radiations for female who don't know she is pregnant or not the first day of menstruations until the 10th day is the most safely period to take the examinations at that period if the patient doesn't know if she is pregnant or not and uh, if there are emergency to take radiations or x-ray for the patient or ct for the patient of the uh, he, who is pregnant uh, uh, should make declaration form and uh, should be signed by the pregnant lady or pregnant patient. As in cases of trauma or RTA, we should take examinations even the patient is pregnant. So at that time, the form can save us uh, in the examinations or in as, uh, legal uh, situations. The pregnancy declaration form for the staff also, if the staff is pregnant, should make sign for the female staff uh, declaration form also to avoid from the area of high radiation doses. Also, with radiation safety program, the second B here, which representing a badge. Badge like this, this is for the all persons working in the radiation area, radiographers and doctors, physician, doctors or physicians who working in the radiation area, should take this badge because this badge is collecting the radiations you are exposed and measure it. Uh, uh, so all staff should use TLD, TLD which representing this badge, thermoluminescent dosimeter badges during the work and ensure that TLD is collected by RBO every three months and sent to National Radiation Protection Center to measure the doses which you are exposed. Ensure if any staff reaches the dose limits, the RBO should investigate 
the situation why he reaching to this uh, high dose limits and correct the position and correct the area which uh, have this radiation which passing the limit and the overexposure investigation form also should be used all these things sharing in the protection and sharing in the safety also in the improvement of the service of the radiology and now the last point from radiation soft program which is the last p uh, which representing portable portable machine also uh, should be take care when using this portable machine at the ICU or uh, inward for the patient who can uh, come to the radiology department during a portable x-ray any patients stuff and the visitors can walk should uh, stay away from the radiation area while exposing the required patient and this is also very important in the safety for the surrounding and now I will talk another policy according to OEB policy assessment of the patient. The third one is the radiology quality control program. And this is also very important for the machine, which also sharing in improvement of the service of the radiology. Radiology quality control program. All the equipments are calibrated or checked before placing into normal service and the details of the calibrations or checking are filled in the radiology in equipment file. So the file is very important which is saving all the dates and all the machines which should be calibrated before starting use in the clinical situation. And the next point is the equipments which are internally calibrated sections in a charge ensures that only qualified and trained technicians calibrate the equipment daily or according to the timing which is ascertained in the department. In individual department have the time for internal calibration for the machine before used also at that time. Radiology equipment management, this is the fourth policy of the assessment of the patient. And the radiology equipment management, uh, meaning the routine re, uh, preventive maintenance of the radiology, is uh, conducted as uh, scheduled by the biomedical department personnel of the hospital. Also, all these to avoid any overexposure or over radiations which can be affected to the surrounding or the radiographer or patient also. The fifth one is the radiology service and the radiology service uh, it is different from uh, uh, institutes to the another. According to our uh, uh, hospitals, the radiology services shall be available 24 to 7 hours for all emergency investigations and these uh, services, uh, radiology services shall develop, implement and maintain the quality control program the radiation safety for the patient stuff and surrounding program as I mentioned quality control from the machines as calibrations and registered in the files and the patient identification also very important to avoid uh, unintended radiations for patient who is not the patient needed uh, this radiation patient identification one from the most important uh, one policy in the international patient safety goal also and all these should be uh, uh, controlled and uh, including in the radiology service 24 beer 7 uh, and the quality control policy should be uh, implemented and this is uh, how to access the department policies. This is uh, different from place to place. Uh, you should know how to enter and assess the policy and uh, search for policy in your place. Uh, I think this uh, lecture is very important for everyone uh, uh, to improve the quality and uh, quality services in his place and also to save the patient and the surrounding from uh, uh, unnew, uh, un non not needed uh, radiations uh, for him or for the radiographer himself and how to protect the babies uh, uh, pediatric and pregnant uh, from the uh, radiation through the radiation safety policies and 
and this is the abbreviation and uh, the uh, reference also uh, from uh, this uh, site. Thank you very much for your watching and have a nice day.